welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Dara Breen. Joining me this week are Andy Parsons, Ed Byrne and Russell Howard, Frankie Boyle, Hugh Dennis and Stuart Francis. Welcome. We start with a round call. If this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. Stuart, which category would you like? Foreign news. You want to go for foreign news? Yeah. Okay, your category is foreign news. The answer is 4%. What is the question? The number of Americans who haven't been on a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> what percentage of Charles Clark is not bile, phlegm, lard or ears? <laughs> <laughs> is is it, it? What is the spare memory capacity on Gary Glitter's laptop? <laughs> What, is it what percentage of the vote would Labour be delighted by at the next election? <laughs> is it what are the chances of me enjoying a film that are described with the words, One Woman's Journey? <laughs> <laughs> is it how much of me is mm. penis? <laughs> Rising to 4.2 on a warm day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it what is the number four expressed as a percentage? <laughs> Actually, that would be 400%. Mm -hmm. Well, don't get mathematical with me. <laughs> start I'll tell you what, that you, was like you, you gave me a mathematical thing. Yeah. That was like a maths rap battle. Don't get <laughs> mathematical <laughs> with me. I'm going to get some equations on your ass. Don't derivate. <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> Is it how much of the weekend can Amir Khan remember? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? How many people support the policy Burn Britain's homeless to heat Britain's houses. <laughs> Is it? How much does Guy Ritchie contribute to the family kitty? <laughs> Is it how many Americans think that Sarah Palin was in Monty Python? <laughs> Is it that? what proportion of votes would Robert Mugabe consider a landslide? <laughs> Is it, did, is it John McCain's poll lead in America? It is John McCain's poll lead in America. Well done, thank you. Go. Go. <laughs> yes, the question I was looking for is how far is John McCain ahead of Barack Obama in some of the presidential polls? This is the news that Republican Vice President nominee Sarah Palin's popularity has given John McCain a 4% poll lead over Barack Obama. 40 million viewers watched her speech at the Republican convention during which she described herself as a pit bull with lipstick. Do you know, I, it strikes me though, it's not going to work out the way they think. Is, have you seen the way that John McCain looks at Sarah Palin? He is going to have a heart attack before the election. <laughs> so anyway, he wants to shoot her moose. <laughs> Do you reckon when they're on the tour bus and uh, he's fallen asleep, that she just dresses up as death, just waiting for him to wake up? Just kind of stood there like that. She did the right thing because she made an analogy, but she kept it short. She said, I'm like a pet bull. That's the key with an analogy, is just keep it short, because no analogy bears up to examination. I'm like a pit bull, I'm tenacious, fine. I'm like a pit, pit bull, when I get something, I won't let go. If you want me to let go, you'll have to put your finger up my arse. No, you, <laughs> you've got to far, Palin! <laughs> Don't leave me alone with a toddler, I'll kill it. No! <laughs> keep the analogy short! They're saying, oh, you know, they talk about the thinking man's crumpet. She is the stupid man's donut. <laughs> Basically, she actually doesn't even believe that climate change is man-made. Yep. Even George W. Bush now believes climate change <laughs> is man-made. It's a sad state of affairs when you make George W. Bush look like an informed progressive. <laughs> to be honest, it's... It's a 72-year-old man, right? He'd only met her once before. A 72-year-old man with his advisors talking to her for the second time. It must have been like a vaudeville act or something. <laughs> Where are you from? Alaska. No, Alaska. Did you guys know? Hey. Did you guys know that McCain was a uh, prisoner of war? Because yeah. he doesn't like to talk about it. He doesn't bring that. No. <laughs> he always likes to talk about it. How sad is that? It's like me on the street. Hi, my name's Stuart. It's my birthday. Be my friend. <laughs> Bush. George Bush gave a speech this week where he praised John McCain for surviving in the Bangkok Hilton, which isn't surprising because Bush would struggle to survive in the London Hilton. <laughs> He'd probably starve to death after four days in the wardrobe looking for the button for the ground floor. <laughs> 
point. Well, that, well, that's a very apt point. He actually praised him for surviving the Hanoi Hilton. Uh, Bangkok is in a different country, and Bangkok wasn't involved well, in the Vietnam but War. But it's important that we get stuff right on a show where we've not said international affairs, we've said foreign news in case we confuse people. Yeah. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> well, I think it's funny when she was slagging off Obama, when she, you know, and, and his environmental plans, and she says, yeah, what's he actually going to seek to accomplish after he's done turning back the water and healing the planet? Like, what a shit thing to want to do. <laughs> what have you done healing the planet? What next? World peace? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> One of the oddest stories about her is that her son's called Track, and he was named Track because she's a fan of running. And yeah, exactly. You know, and thank God she doesn't like badminton. Imagine being called Shuttlecock. Imagine that. <laughs> what do you think? The glasses. The glasses work in America. Obviously, you know, loads of people are trying to buy them. Why not? But every time, every time I see her, I think somewhere in here I'm expecting a little voice to go, "Should have gone to Specsavers." <laughs> He brings home how stupid the supporters are. That they did you like the speech? I want to look like her. You know, <laughs> so depressing. Well, he sounded it? like Baloo from <laughs> uh, from the Jungle Book. Yeah. Ooh ooh ooh! <laughs> I want to look like her. This is a normal off-stage voice. <laughs> <point. laughs> this is an act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking far too much away. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Action figure, isn't there? Yeah, it is a Sarah Payton and there's, figure. There's, she's only got selected a week ago, so there's no chance that they've. <laughs> like, no, they've clearly taken that's clearly like an action man that they've grafted a vagina onto. Yeah. Here's which Robin. is something that I've been doing for years. I've patented that. <laughs> to be honest, it looks a little bit like Gok Wan. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, a, she's a creationist, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. Right. If you're a creationist, if you're going to shut out part of reality, don't shut out things like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool. <laughs> if you're going to shut out part of reality, shut out tax returns or periods. Pretend that that didn't, doesn't happen. <laughs> hey, don't shut out dinosaurs. They were huge. I don't know why I said it in that voice, but they were huge. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, if, like, if you saw a dinosaur right now, you'd probably go, ah! In a high pitched voice. That's <laughs> kind of Frankie's voice when he's not doing what the week is. Ah. <laughs> you should see when we all meet up together. It's like, yeah. hello, Frankie. <laughs> hello, you. <yeah. laughs> She's also very like, I mean, she's also very like Vladimir Putin, I think. They're separated by only two letters of the alphabet, and they both like hunting, don't they? I mean, they, they, they are very, very similar people. And you think, if in the event okay. of a conflict between the US uh, and, uh, and Russia, you could sort it out by just, forget war, forget missiles, just get the two of them hunting each other in the woods. <laughs> and I think when takes all the spoils, they go, do not recognise the rug? <laughs> It is Sarah Palin. Look, the glasses. <laughs> She's got this giant freakish family, Palin, hasn't she? It's sort of like an episode of The Waltons that was filmed in Austria. And she's... <laughs> She's got this guy who's got her daughter pregnant, right? And he's got on his MySpace page, redneck and proud of it. If you're a real redneck, you've not got a MySpace page. <laughs> redneck social networking is putting a couch on your front lawn. <laughs> <laughs>